Caterina Cittadini was born in Bergamo on September 28, 1801 to Giovanni Battista Cittadini and Margherita Lanzani. She had a sister named Giudita who was born on July of 1803. Caterina was baptized on September 30, 1801 in the parish of San Alessandro in Colonna. Her mother died in 1808 and her father abandoned the sisters after being widowed. The sisters were taken in and grew up in an orphanage in Bergamo where both sisters developed a strong and ardent faith. In Caterina's case, it meant a strong devotion to both the Blessed Mother Mary and to St. Jerome Emiliani. In 1823, at the age of 21, having earned a teaching diploma, Caterina left the orphanage and stayed with their paternal cousins, Father Giovanni and Antonio Cittadini, in Calolsio. In 1824, Caterina was accepted as a permanent teacher in the public school for girls at Sumasca, a branch of the municipality of Vercorago near Calolzio. With her sister Judita, Caterina matures in her desire to enter in religious congregations. Therefore, They ask the guidance of Don Giuseppe Brenna, their spiritual director in the Conventino of Bergamo, who in turn indicates to them that the will of God for them consists in staying in Somasca. They themselves will be the cornerstones of a new religious family in the small place where the holiness of St. Jerome Emiliani is kept alive. The task of being a teacher places her in the midst of the life of this small place, Somasca, where Caterina actively participates in the parish life. She is a teacher in Christian doctrine. She enrolls in the different confraternities, participates with her companions and students at the sacred functions, opens her house to receive young girls to animate and form them in an oratory style. Thus, a Cittadini private school is born in 1832, and in 1836, a boarding school for girls, whose direction is entrusted to her sister, Judita. The whole life of Caterina is always accompanied by trials. In 1840, just only at the age of 37, Judita, her sister, with whom she shared everything from family sufferings, formation, ideals and plans, dies suddenly. In 1845, she has to leave her teaching job at the public school to entirely dedicate herself to the boarding school. In 1844, Caterina with her three companions started to write The Rules of Life, which has much similarity to a religious institute. 
In 1850 to 1851, she applies to the Bishop of Bergamo, Monsignor Carlo Gritti Morlacchi, various supplication to obtain the approval of her small religious family, but the time is not yet mature. In 1854, Caterina has a meeting with the Bishop, Monsignor Pietro Luigi Speranza, who encourages her to write the rules by herself and promises his help. Caterina writes the rules based on the constitution of the Ursulines of Milano, but when presented to the bishop, it was not accepted. Always clear thinking, trustful and in continuous prayer, she exhorts her companions to accept with serenity the will of the Lord because everything would still be continued. After a day of agony, serenely and in a holy manner, surrounded by a fame of sanctity and greatly grieved by her daughters, by the borders and by the people, leaving to everyone her shining example and profound spiritual maturity, Caterina dies on May 5, 1857. A little time after her death, precisely on December 14, 1857, the decree of the canonical erection of the institute arrives from the Bishop of Bergamo. The institute had its pontifical recognition on July 8, 1927. Although the fame of holiness lasted in time, the cause of the beatification and canonization of the servant of God was only begun in 1967, when with the decree of April 21, 1967, the Bishop of Bergamo, Monsignor Clemente Gatti, constituted the historical commission that concluded his works on May 5, 1969. On August 5, 1971, the Diocesan Ecclesiastical Tribunal is constituted for the regular process that was concluded on December 1978. Eventually, on December 20, 1999, the decree of Super Miraculo was emanated for the healing of Samuela Piovani, attributed to the intercession of Caterina Cittadini. With her beatification, the Pope indicates Caterina as a model of Santita Feriale, a shining example of a true maternity in Christ and of unconditional dedication for the young generation. Today, her spiritual daughters fulfill their educative mission in different parts of the world.